Hello, welcome back to Mass Effect 2 with Carmen Shepard. Uh, we're on this base. Shepard just found out she's been dead for two years. <laughs> yeah, she can't really wrap her head around that. It's just like too weird. But uh, this base that she's on is under attack and she needs to get off. She met this guy here, Jacob Taylor, and supposedly he's going to work with her to get off of this base. Log update. The Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. This is the most amazing medical achievement in recorded history. Maybe now Miranda will finally show some appreciation for everything I've done. I'm not sure if he's talking monetary appreciation or, like, sexual. Or just, I don't know, appreciation. Got a line. Do it. Have a nice trip. Got it. Excuse me. Uh, 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 find us another route out of here. Preferably one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control room. Don't get pinned down. I'll see what I can do. Uh, what about that ammo clip back there? Did I already pick that up? Yep. I can level up Jacob here. Let's uh, le let's level up Jacob. And my priority for Jacob is to get to Squad Incendiary. And we'll go that way. Too bad we can't get to Squad Incendiary by the time we hit Freedom's Progress. Because we're at level 5 and they only gain a point every other level. Shepard gains 2 points per level. Uh, up until level 20 and then she starts gaining one point per level and your squad mates only gain two points every other level so they only gain points on odd levels Jacob! Shepard! Down here! Bastards got me in a leg! We need to get off this station I'm not going anywhere until someone fixes my leg Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. How many times you guys got to say that, man? Wilson, hurt back. He needs help. You can't blow these up, huh? All right, fine. Thanks, Shepard. <laughs> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? 
There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. I haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Yeah, we didn't do any of the Cerberus stuff back in Mass Effect 1. They should have probably taken that into account. She's going to claim, if I go like that, he's going to claim that, oh, you blew up a bunch of their facilities and destroyed a bunch of their projects, which we didn't do. Um, let's go this way, I think. I wiped out my share of Cerberus oh, projects. Those houses. answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. I should have probably gone the, the Paragon route there. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Here comes Wilson. He's got the Joker animation when Joker's on the ship. During the collector attack, that's the same animation Joker uses. I can get him to walk normally if I do this. See, now, now he's perfectly fine. Put a gun in his hand and he's like ready to go. <laughs> Is there any ammo up there? Hey guys, you got any ammo? No? Alright, fine. Are we really playing on the right difficulty? This seems too easy. No, 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 no. Okay. Yep, there goes the armor. Allied force casualty impact event. Critical system damage. Off. Look my arm. Oh, let's go around this side. Test 
subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Hey gang, where are you going? Come on, follow me. Oh, Jacob just popped out of there and popped into here. Look at Wilson. He's working, walking perfectly fine now. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. I love the way she delivers that line. It's so good. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. Yeah, I, she's not going to say, what if I don't want to come along? It's like, whatever, I'll come. Sure, I'll check it out. She's not, like, super anti-Cerberus. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Yeah, she's not, like, terribly concerned. It's like, okay, fine. I mean, she doesn't even really have a problem with Miranda killing that dude. It's like, whatever. I might have done the same myself. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Yeah, I think Shepard and Miranda have a lot in common. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when slavers hit Minduar. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? In fact, they're both Sentinels. <laughs> That's right, Miranda and uh, Carmen are both Sentinels. Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. 
I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are gonna die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel. After the Council died on the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? <laughs> yeah, I want my Spectre Stas back. I always want my Spectre Stas back. So the only way to get it if you kill the council is to have Anderson as the new council counselor. If you pick Odina, then you can't get your Spectre status back if the council died. So we're going with Anderson. With the council dead, humanity stepped into power. We formed a new council. I recommended Captain Anderson to lead it. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Councillor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Still, good to know that the human council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Thank God Miranda's here. Sometimes I come in here and she's not here. But I think you can fix it by simply saving and reloading. Could we turn this tech armor off? It'd be nice if we could cut, turn it off in cutscenes. In Mass Effect 3, it turns off in cutscenes. Yeah, there's no way to turn it off now. Oh, I should have turned it off before opening that door. That's what I could have done. All right. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. I hear you spent billions rebuilding me. Why'd you do it? But I think this is a better answer. What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. 
I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Like I said in the intro to Mass Effect 1, she's not like really super rah rah alliance and she's open to working with Cerberus. Cerberus is willing to do something about these abductions. Uh, she doesn't have a, necessarily a problem with Cerberus's methods. So she's open to working with these guys. So I'm looking for dialogue opportunities where Shepard's not all up in the elusive man's face all the time. Anyway, that's enough for this episode. The next episode, we'll talk to these two guys, and then we'll head off to Freedom's Progress to see if we can find any evidence, any clues as to what's going on with these human colony abductions. And damn, I wish I could get rid of this frickin' tech armor right now. Anyway, I have to remember that when we get to Freedom's Progress, that before I open the door to Vitor's little hut, to oh there's no way to turn off the tech or can we turn off the no I, I can't even get at the power wheel right now <laughs> I, I don't know if I could turn off the tech armor I, I this is not Mass Effect 3 where you can actually turn the stuff you could just blow it up yourself I think it has to blow up on its own I don't know anyway that's enough for this episode until next time have a nice day